Hello my lovely people and welcome to Owen's Mind. Today I would like to give you my thoughts on the movie The Gentleman. So, The Gentleman is directed by Guy Ritchie and stars Matthew McConaughey, Charlie Hunnam, Hugh Grant, Colin Farrell and a whole host of other stars and is, tells the story of um, Mickey Pearson, played by McConaughey. So Mickey Pearson learned at an early age that he had a bit of a talent, a bit of a knack for selling a bit of marijuana and he grew up and became a bit of a mogul. He now runs a whole marijuana empire in the east end of London. He decides he's had enough of the business, he wants to sell it, he wants to get out and retire with his lovely wife and live a gentrified lifestyle, crime free. So he puts his business on the market, he finds a buyer and at that point shenanigans ensue and um, the deal starts to go a little bit south and things start to happen and then Hugh Grant's character comes in to kind of explain why this is all happening. So. Guy Ritchie, his last film was Aladdin, but previously he has directed some of the fantastic East End kind of gangster things. He started, he cut his teeth on Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. He did Snatch, he did Rock and Roller, and those are really kind of where he shines for me. Aladdin, by all accounts, I've not seen it, by all accounts it was great, he did a brilliant job, made a load of money, but he was working with other people's material and within the framework set by Disney, whereas here he wrote it, he directed it, he can kind of go at it, and boy does he go at it. This movie is brilliant, I love this movie. So, um, from a plot perspective, like I say, it, as you would find in many of Richie's movies, in the, the gangster ones, this is his wheelhouse. There is lots of twists and turns, there is lots of characters, there, are lots of, there is never a straight line. The path, you know, the character needs to get from A to B, but to do that he'll travel down and it's like, nope, there, we've got this reader to solve, or this little bump in the road. And there's all these other characters. So, as I said, McConaughey is trying to sell his business and kind of get out of the game. And, you know, this brings other people to the table. So it's not just a simple case of he wants to sell it and somebody wants to buy it. There's other people. It's a bit of a power play and there's there's things that go along. There's mishaps along the way. Um, we see the story largely in a flashback scene, the whole movie. So what happens is... Um, Charlie Hunnam's character, who is McConaughey's right-hand man, kind of his go-to guy, is approached by Hugh Grant's um, lecherous Fletcher. Now, Fletcher is a, um, is a reporter stroke kind of private eye, and he comes to Charlie Hunnam's character and says, the reason this deal is not going ahead as you planned, the reason things are going wrong, is this. And he spells out the story, and then we see what he knows. So the story is essentially told by what he thinks he knows has happened to get to this point, and that's how we see the movie. It works very well. We'll cut back to him occasionally, and something else will say. It'll do, you know. He'll, he'll put another little bump in the road. Charlie Hunnam's character will say, "It's all speculation, mate. You don't know anything." And he'll go, "Ah, but I do know this." And then you'll see another scene, and it builds beautifully. The script, fantastic. It's proper old school Guy Ritchie. So there's a certain lyrical quant uh, quality to it. The, the Even the insults, everything has got this rhythm and it's hysterical. It's just such a funny movie. It's so good. Honestly, I saw it last night. I'm going to see it again today just because it's just brilliant. The performances are great. Everybody really sells it. Everybody in it is just fantastic. There's some fantastical elements in it. And again, it just works within the narrative and there's all these threads and you're like, how are these all going to come together? You know, there's, you know, as the movie's progressing, you're like, there's so much going on. How are all these loose, loose ends going to get tied up? They come together with a nice little bow on them. Um, Hugh Grant in this movie, oh my word. Hugh Grant is, this is the best I've ever seen him. He looks like he's having so much fun and the character is so different from anything I've ever seen him play before. And he does it so well. Um... Hunnam is great in this. Obviously, he's, he's kind of a collaborate with um, uh, Guy Ritchie a lot. Um, here, again, everybody just fits the character they've been given like a, like a good suit. Everything, they're just, there's, nobody feels miscast. Top to bottom, nobody feels like that shouldn't have been there or that's not quite. Everything just sits beautifully. And again, there's enough intrigue in there, there's enough kind of twists and turns, enough things where you don't really know what's going to happen. There's enough situations to get into where you generally worry for the characters and again it just ties together beautifully at the end. Incredible humour. Um, it's got Richie's style so there's lots of you know there's slow motion moments, there's, there's kind of smash cuts and things and there's little bits where Hugh Grant is um, he's telling a story and he, he likes the, he's a very, he considers himself a cinephile. So he's like, no, I'm going to tell you a story and all this stuff, and I'm going to tell you, you know, 
imagine good old-fashioned 35 millimeter then we cut to a 35 millimeter projector and this kind of stuff and it, get, it just all works really well again it's just it's a really genuinely very funny film even though there's high stakes in it the humor that just the put downs the one-liners and eddie marson is in this film and for a long time um bruce campbell who was in the evil dead was considered the most tortured man in cinema i'm now saying it's eddie marson because the guy in there's so many films and he just gets put through the ring. He's in this, again, he gets put through it in this, in a unique and hysterical way. Um, but the character he plays, you kind of see how he got there. So that's all I'll say on that. But just do yourself a favor, treat yourself, go out and see this film. It is so good. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'd say I've, I saw, I reviewed a movie earlier in the week. Um, I read a review movie just to kind of give my thoughts on them. I'm not a reviewer. I just kind of like what I like, and I tell you what I like, and I tell you what I don't like. There was one earlier in the week which I kind of gave my thoughts on, kind of a bit of a letdown, and yet the last two, so The Invisible Man and this, have both kind of, yeah, this is why you love movies, because they're very different, and they're very good, but this one is just such, I was beaming, and I was laughing all the way through this film. It's so good, so I highly recommend it. Take the time, go and see it. So that's it, guys. Like I say, like what you like, love what you love. These were just my thoughts. They're not necessarily important. They're not necessarily right or wrong. And that's what's so beautiful about the movies. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. And until next time, bye for now.